from the hinterland of the Yunnan Guizhou Plateau at a latitude of 27.51 degrees. A mysterious fragrance is carried along a river flowing through a unique karst landscape. Mao Tai Town, located in Guizhou Province in China, is the birthplace of China Guizhou Mao Tai, a liquor that shares the title, the top three distilled liquors of the world, with cognac brandy from France and whiskey from Scotland. A fragrant journey. The beginning of this fragrant journey can be traced back to a single seed, to a section of a flowing river. Originating from the roof of the world, the Yangtze River is the longest river in Asia. The Qishui River, one of its many tributaries, flows through the northwestern Renhuai city of Guizhou province in China. On its eastern bank lies the major production center for the Chinese Jiang fragrance liquor, where the tradition of brewing has continued uninterrupted for thousands of years largely due to its unique natural environment. The valley here serves as nature's liquor cellar. The area is surrounded by mountains with mild winters and hot summers. It is humid with moderate rainfall and is sheltered from the wind. The core ingredients of Mao Tai are water, sorghum and wheat. Water is the backbone of any high quality liquor. The water of the Qishui River, coupled with the mildly acidic purple soil of the valley, results in the quality water used for the production of Mao Tai. The wild nature of the river is tamed as it flows through Mao Tai Town and is further harnessed to suit the needs for the different brewing stages. In early summer, during the fermentation stage of the brewing process, minimal water is required. The river turns a reddish-brown hue due to the high rainfall and provides a rich source of nutrients for the crops on both river banks. When autumn comes, the making of Mao Tai requires a significant amount of water. At this time, the Qishui River reverts back to its pristine form, with its water once again clear and visible to the bottom of the river. One cannot help but marvel at this tacit understanding between man and nature. The glutinous sorghum, an ancient grain native to this region, is the only and best choice for the production of quality Mao Tai. It is a small grain red in color and with a thick husk, highly tannic and contains high levels of amylopectin and polyphenol. The koji used in the production of Mao Tai is derived from quality organic wheat. To provide the quality raw materials needed to make quality liquor, the farmers must adhere to traditional farming practices. They must comply strictly to the demanding horticulture requirements such as the use of non-genetically modified seeds and totally natural fertilizer, free of chemicals and pesticides. As a first-time visitor, 
you will surely be impressed with the pristine ecology and be intoxicated by the ubiquitous fragrance of Mao Tai in the air. The mysteries of the climate, the land, the water, and even the surrounding air appear to harbor the secrets of this beautiful liquor. As a result of thousands of years of uninterrupted brewing tradition, the air in China's premier liquor town is rich with a diverse range of microorganisms. It is exactly these invisible spirits that give Mao Tai its distinctive style and personality. Covering an area of 15.03 square kilometers, the Mao Tai production area lies within China's national protected zone. The uniqueness of this area means that Mao Tai is destined to be a product of rare scarcity. Whilst the natural ingredients are undoubtedly a gift from nature, to transform a humble grain of sorghum into a glass of quality liquor requires the brewing skills of artisans passed down from one generation to the next. The brewing of liquor is considered the fifth greatest invention in Chinese civilization. The technique of Mao Tai production is both a state secret as well as a national cultural heritage for China, the craftsmanship of which is likened to a living fossil. Every stage in the production of Mao Tai strictly adheres to the 24 solar phases of the different seasons as dictated by Chinese farming traditions. From the production of koji during the Dragon Boat Festival in early summer to the addition of other ingredients during the Double Ninth Festival. The entire complex process takes a year covering up to 100 different stages. The ingredients are steamed nine times before going through eight different fermentations and seven distillations. The blood and sweat of the master brewers ensure that the final product retains a pure Chinese flavor. The liquor collected at this stage is not the finished product. The Mao Tai that we know is a perfect blend of hundreds of liquors at different stages with different fragrances and ages. This process can only be achieved by master blenders who require sensitive palates and expert skills. Mao Tai is blended entirely using liquors without adding any other substances such as aromatics or water. Throughout the entire process, the one indispensable additive is perhaps the flowing inspiration of the master blenders who fully utilize their experience and inspiration to achieve the best balance that results in the peerless aroma and flavor of Mao Tai. Coupled with a minimum of three years of celery, from the moment a seed is sowed to the finished bottle, the whole process requires five years. The long and arduous production process, grounded in traditional craftsmanship, means that the production of Mao Tai is destined to be limited. Even first-time drinkers will easily uncover Mao Tai's personalities. In one glass are complex aromas, a mellow and smooth mouth feel and a lingering aftertaste that does not leave one with a hangover. The high quality comes not only from the caliber of the ingredients, but also from the core production techniques, an embodiment of yin and yang fermentations and high temperature distillation. Open fermentation, also known as yang fermentation, is unique to this style of liquor production
where airborne microorganisms, beneficial to human well-being, are garnered. This is followed by closed fermentation, also known as yin fermentation, where the cellar is sealed with mud to absorb the essence of the earth. High temperature distillation determines the quality of the liquor. Fermentation at high temperature leads to a special microbial system dominated by high temperature, tolerant and aromatic bacteria which produce the unique aromas of the Maotai Koji. Condensation at 40 degrees centigrade enables many hazardous substances with low boiling points to fully volatilize whilst retaining the aromatics that have higher boiling points. This is the key to the health benefits of Mao Tai and also explains why there are no negative after effects. The magnificent cellar is the last stop of the brewing journey. The use of pottery jars to sell a liquor is a Chinese tradition. These jars have a porous structure so that the liquor can breathe during the cellaring process, interacting with the unique atmosphere of the ancient town. During the cellaring process, the harsher flavors gradually mellow, resulting in a richer fragrance. The years of culture and spirituality coupled with the fragrant aromas developed in the brewing process can all be experienced in one glass of Mao Tai. The fragrance of Mao Tai, due to the natural fermentation process, is made up of a combination of more than a hundred complex aromatics. These aromatic components, yet to be fully deciphered, rival liquors from around the world and are said to be the most complex. From the top notes to the more subtle after notes, one can smell fragrance of flowers, grass, fruit, sweetness and dried plants before giving way to the end note of a delicate and lingering sourness, which adds a touch of elegance that one savors for a long time afterwards. Mao Tai is a clear liquor with a slightly yellow hue whilst aged Mao Tai will start to develop an attractive amber tone. The most appropriate way to savor this liquor, with its high alcohol content at 53%, is to sip it slowly. Initially, a silky smoothness will coat the tip of one's tongue, together with a mellow mouth feel, before giving way to gentle smoky flavors as one swallows. After swallowing, a sweet taste lingers in the mouth. A moist scent fills the nose and a warmth spreads across the body, adding a pleasant surprise to the drinking process. Mao Tai is unique, as every step of the consumption experience is the result of natural fermentation using organic ingredients without the addition of any other aromatics. Amongst the world of Chinese liquors, Mao Tai is unique in that it has garnered in one single product the title of Level A Clean, Organic and Geographically Representative Products from the China authorities. Research has shown that Mao Tai contains significant amounts of naturally occurring polyphenols, various acids including unsaturated fatty acid and other healthy components. In some cases, the levels are higher than those found in many wines. Evidences from real-life examples also point to the health benefits of moderate consumption. <laughs> to taste Mao Tai is to taste China. From that distant era, Mao Tai was destined to become the famous liquor it is today. Zhujiang liquor, the predecessor of Mao Tai, was highly praised and deemed an imperial tribute by Emperor Wu of the Han Dynasty more than 2,000 years ago. At the Panama Pacific International Exposition in 1915, amongst the creme de la creme of the world's finest producers, Mao Tai was awarded a gold medal 
for its unique oriental aromas. Subsequently, it has continued to win international awards with its excellent quality and garnered widespread praise, becoming the national liquor of China. Perhaps you may experience the profoundness of history and the changing of the seasons, taste the vividness of a thousand years of culture and the soul of its cuisine, or even hear the power of the river that runs through the Oriental Valley and the joy of a bumper harvest, all from a glass of Maotai. This is a life journey of reincarnation, starting from the end, through the vivid seasons and the silence of time, full of surprises and mellow fragrance, before returning to the earth with the temperament of a poet, with thorough insight.